Smoke from coal-fired steam trawlers used to mingle with that from the steam trains on the tracks alongside Hull Fish Dock. But in the surrounding streets, there was a different kind of smoke. A softer wood smoke from 50 oak-fueled smokehouses. The port had the biggest fish curing industry in Britain. It smoked herring, codling and haddock sold in home and export markets. Stainless steel kilns have now replaced the old brick-built smokehouses with their circular fire pits. But there's still a worldwide demand for the unique flavour of smoked fish from Hull. And it still depends on the skill and experience of the key man, the smoker. The family firm of Simpsons is Hull's leading supplier of smoked fish. In the past, the haddocks were simply split. The demand in today's market is for skin-on or skin-off fillets. Larger fish are hand filleted. Machine filleting and skinning handles the bulk of production. The washed fillets are soaked in coloured brine and laid on racks known as banjos. The degree of soaking and the colour density is a key part of the preparatory skill. Natural plant extracts are used for the colour. Different markets have different colour traditions. Some customers still demand natural smoked product. After soaking, the drained racks are wheeled into kilns for around eight hours of smoking. This is a much more hygienic and controlled process than the old smokehouses. The smouldering oak chips and sawdust which produce the smoke are fired in a separate firebox. The smoker keys in the smoke program based on his assessment of what each particular batch needs. This is the final touch of expertise and he checks at regular intervals in the closing stages to shorten or lengthen the smoke time as required. Every day around the world, thousands of portions of Simpson's smoked haddock are served as the traditional breakfast dish. And increasingly, with more sophisticated recipes, which also now include coli and other species. That Simpson's smoked taste, there's nothing like it.